Lethal Company has been taking the internet by storm. It's a co-op indie horror video game made by internet personality Zeekers. The game takes place in the distant future where you're supposed to be collecting scrap metal from abandoned moons and delivering it to a company while dodging monsters, hazards, and even the weather. Kind of like a more screwed up roguelike Tarkov. The game has been taking the internet by storm. Zeekers, the developer behind the game, had prior experience being a developer in Roblox and itch.io. As the game released in early access on October 23rd, a day after my birthday by the way, everybody say happy birthday. Birthday, it's been taking the internet by storm with receiving a 97.28 rating as of November 27th and surpassing Call of Duty in the top sellers list on Steam. So why does this co-op looter have everybody in a chokehold? Well, in the year of 2023, a lot of banger games have come out. With only a few video games being some misses, most of 2023 has been nothing but bangers and hits. But most of these hits come from the million dollar AAA game developers. And a lot of the big games this year have only been single player experiences. Lethal Company was more of a sleeper release. Not a lot of people knew it even came out. But as the days gone by, the interest and popularity grew exponentially. And even though the game has more of a simplistic gameplay style, the game is very, very interesting to play. I found myself being lost and playing for hours, along with having proximity chat, a friendly open multiplayer lobby, and even modding the game is fun and easy. I can see why so many people have been flocking to this game, a traditional multiplayer experience, which a lot of people missed in recent years as a a lot of AAA game developers have moved away from the multiplayer experience, and the multiplayer experiences within the AAA genre have been lackluster to say the least. Remember, this game outsold Call of Duty, one of the biggest first-person shooter games ever. But in recent time, a lot of multiplayer games have been super lackluster. A lot of it now has just loot boxes, skins you gotta pay 20 bucks for, and not a lot of people care about games as a service. Lethal Company kind of bridges that gap and gives us a good traditional multiplayer game with a $10 price tag, which is super affordable for most people. And dealing with some of the monsters that infest the game, the traps, the weather, even the multiplayer interactions with each other using proximity chat, this game has led to some really keen and interesting moments. And not to mention, the game is pretty quirky. You have a shovel, you may want to drop. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I was about to get struck. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> what? No fucking way! No! Despite this game having a pretty simplistic approach to the gameplay loop, and all you have to do is collect some scrap to reach a quota to not die, the game offers some fun and interesting moments as each map is procedurally generated. So you never actually know what you will encounter once you step inside those abandoned factories and face your fears. And plus, this game has had some major funny moments in it. From whether it's interactions with other players or just interacting with the environment, the game has been tons of fun to play. And a lot of people have been calling this game the new Among Us, which I kind of understand the appeal, the simplistic gameplay design, the graphics are pretty simple to look at, proximity chat system, and it just kind of blowing up out of nowhere gives people that feeling of Among Us. But I feel like this game is in a category of its own because this game is more of a survival horror strategy roguelike type because you're working with players rather than against them. And I think that's why this game is doing so well too. It leads to a lot of people working together, strategizing around how to defeat monsters, how to collect the scrap effectively, and how to make the quota before the three day time limit is out. It leads to a lot of more friendly friendlier experiences when it comes to meeting new people on Lethal Company. And although the content is super limited, this game has been tons of fun to enjoy, which I hope some AAA developers see as a sign. You don't need to pump a game full of hours and hours worth of content, you just need to make the gameplay loop fun enough and make it more interactable. No more games that last forever. How about games that are just fun? Alright guys, that's enough for today. I kind of wanted to explore more of Lethal Company, so maybe I'll do a heads up video if you guys like it. With that being said, fellas, I hope you have a good day. Stay safe out there. Love you all. Peace.